life. Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here. Welcome in, guys, and be sure to welcome the crafty sidekick shenanigans on the other side of the room. Welcome into the Thursday Night Live show. We are so glad that you could join us tonight, and we appreciate you being here. If you're not, let me, re, let me stop. If you're new to the channel, be sure to click that red <laughs> box and subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell so you get notified every time we come on because you don't want to miss it. We got some cool stuff happening tonight. Right after this show, we're going to do the Crafter After Show where we talk about whatever we want to talk about. And we usually do. If you are new again, we like to get likes. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see. Tonight, May May's playing with a a new toy. Here we go. I love new toys. I love new toys. I wrote this song earlier so I can tell you I love new toys. I really I wrote it right then. That's pretty original. I, those words were lies, though, so I can't publish that because I wouldn't be able to live with myself because I wrote it literally just then. Did you, you love it? So talented. You loved it though. So, so talented. And now I don't know the words anymore. That's what happens to me with my dog songs too. Like I write the dog songs and I never remember the words. Hey, you guys, we're back. Did hey. you even know we were gone? <laughs> we, we did. <laughs> we had a great time. We went to Creativation. Oh my goodness, I was so impressed. It was my first year going. So impressed. And we're going to talk about it more in the after show. I want y'all to stick around for that. Exciting trip. Um, a lot of stuff. A very exciting trip. Very exciting very trip. Exciting. A lot of stuff going on. Tonight in the in the crafter show, we got this tool in. This guy is called, I have to read it. This guy is called the Border Punch Alignment Guide from We Are. We got this tool in probably a month ago. That's what I was thinking. Maybe forever, more. Forever and a year ago, it seems. But the pieces to go with it took forever to come in. So it's been online. Actually, I don't know if it's even been live. I think it has, though. It's been online. And we've been waiting and waiting on the pieces to come in, and now they're here. And here's the thing. As with Classic We Are, I'm just going to say this. This is Classic We Are Memory Keepers, okay, which they are We Are Makers now. I'm pretty sure they're going by that. But Classic Them, I always see a tool and go, eh, I do. I mean, I don't know if y'all do or not. I see a tool and go, meh, like that's what the kids say. Did y'all know? M-E-H, that's what the kids say. Meh. I go, meh, meh and bro. then I get it. Then I go, okay, I'm going to get it, and then I use it, and I go, how did I ever craft without it? It seems like they always do that to me, and y'all, if you know we are memory keepers or we are makers, I'm going to get used to saying that. This tool still says we are memory keepers, so don't, don't tell, you know, don't fuss at me. I'm doing what it says here, but it never, it never ceases to amaze me how beautiful their products are and this is no exception now let me tell you what it does and then we're going to jump in because i also have a folio for you guys tonight that you're going to freak about okay listen so this guy is like this leverage arm for punches okay so you see how this guy does this number he opens up this little guy comes out he's a cartridge okay i'm gonna try doing this with my words he's a cartridge for punch for punches this one comes with the alignment guide and if you bought it you got this one with it but there are other ones too there are cartridges that insert and they all just kind of sit in here like this so there's a couple things i really love about it was that a bug tell me it wasn't a bug i did not see a bug okay felt like a bug you do have something on your chest it felt like a bug it's white okay it's not a bug. piece of foam it if like. it's not a bug we're okay oh it's styrofoam from this box okay, now so i know it, it ain't on you no more so here's what I really like. Okay, so here's another cartridge, and I want to show you this. Look how they sync together. Look at this, you guys. Look, completely together. How awesome, right? The only thing I'm going to complain about, there's only one complaint, and you guys will have the same complaint. This is on top and not on the side. The pattern's on the top. So when you put them together, you don't see it, but that's okay. We can get past that. We can do that because we can always put what it is. So I'm going to use the one that comes with it tonight. So if you can't, can if, I see one of the boxes? Mm -hmm. If tonight is not your night to pick up more punches, you don't have to. This one comes with it. And let me just tell you something. It's stunning. I'll show you the rest as we get going. Okay. So we're making a folio. Um, and this is going to feature in that folio. So let me get a piece of cardstock. So, I think I'll start with us. I think I'll start with scoring, and we'll come back to this because I don't want to confuse you about the folio. So, if you only care about the folio part and not the punch part, we can do that too. All right. So, check this out. <clears throat> Got my scoreboard. 
and gosh, this paper is literally the same color as my scoreboard. That's new. Okay, so it actually is a new paper. <laughs> That's new. This piece is eight and a half by 11. Okay, we're going to start with this piece. Let me get my cheat sheet over here. Tamitha's already got the measurements for you, so I'm sure she has them somewhere, or they will be shortly. Eight and a half by 11. Put it in on the 11 inch side. Okay. Um, can you see that? I'm looking this. Woo, that's rough, y'all. I apologize. I never yes. thought about that. But I'm going to put it in on the 11 inch side. So I'm going all the way across here. Here's our scores. All right, the folio measures are in the drop box below the video, so they're already there. We're going to score it three fourths. To be honest with y'all, y'all might not want to make this with me. Just hang on a second. Let me make it because this is the second time I've made it. Let's check some measures. So three fourths, one and a fourth, seven and a half, and eight. So we're going to start here, okay? This is going to be the outside of our folio. So I want to go ahead and score it so we could punch it. So now we can. All right, so what you're looking for on your folio is this big old flap over here. This is what we're going to punch. This is what we're going to glue. This is the little flap, okay? So I'm not going to fold this yet. I'm going to go back to my new tool. I love this. This is the fun part. Now, you can work from either side, okay? You can work left to right or right to left. I worked the first time I worked this way, so we'll work our way back this time. Here's what happens. I'm going to open this so you can see it, okay? This bar opens. This is where I'm telling you we are nails it. They just do. The thought that goes into this, whoever was using this said, this would be better if it did this or this or this, and they've done it. This is a magnet bar. Here and here, there's this magnet, and it sandwiches your paper. Do you see the magnet? There's a little delay in my monitor, so if I pause a second, forgive me. I just want to make sure. Um, so there's the magnet there, and then you also see it in the flip up. Yes, you can see it. Okay, I love that feature because watch this. So taking my scored piece that has the longer flap at the end, you have a guide here. You have this um, alignment here. You want to put your paper all the way th all the way to that alignment on one side. Go ahead, get it all the way over there, and then close this down. And it's pretty snug. I tested it earlier. I'm not going to pull it. I know I can pull it out. It's just magnets. But it's pretty snug. It's not going to wiggle on you. Okay? Then we're going to bring this guy over. And what happens, this gold piece is a, is a punch, okay? You cannot really punch it with your fingers. It's super, super sturdy. So if you're thinking you can, I don't really think you can. Then you're going to punch this. Now, it's firm. I will say the piece I stamp, uh, punched first was thicker than this cardstock, so let's see what it looks like. So now you can take your hands. Oh, that wasn't too bad. It's probably going to shake and stuff. I apologize just because it's on my desk. So I got one done. You don't have to do any, you don't have to lift anything up or anything. Can you see, let me get my pointer tool. Right in here are these <coughs> little divots. This is brilliant, you guys. Whoever did this, brilliant. These little notch holes, little divots. What you do is you take this guy, don't touch your paper. You just roll this over. Oh, I did something, y'all. I moved something, let me get it right. Let me make sure I went all the way through. And I did. Now, I'm going to move this guy over. I could have messed up because I might not should have started from this side. I should have read the instructions. Do you think I should have started from this side? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Look how beautiful that is. I'm not sure. You might need to start from the other side. Let's do that. I'm going to start over because that might be my issue. And I probably do have to start over because of where that landed. So let me do that. And I'll punch a piece and we'll go back and do the score part. Where do we put that extra paper? Um, right there in that stack. Where? Here it is. Yeah, sorry. I That's thought okay. you saw the stack. So this is going to answer a question because I didn't know if I had to go only in one direction. So this will tell me. Let's punch again. Let's get to where we were. Okay. Then, yes. Okay. So apparently it moves in one direction. Did y'all see that? Did you see how easy it moved? That's why I knew something was wrong there because this moved easy the first time I used it. <laughs> no, actually there's no instruction booklet. It's just pictures on the box unless I miss something. Then watch, I'm just gonna move it. See, I'm not holding the paper. The paper's not moving. That's why when I was over here, I knew something was up. And you can hear it click when it gets to the next spot. Yeah, you hear it and feel it. See how I'm just using two fingers? I want y'all to see how that works. You can hear it and feel it. Did you hear it click? I was talking. <laughs> just hold on, there's another one. Hear the click? You can feel it so easy. Look at that. It's just so cool. 
So if you've never used border punches, if you don't love them, if they're kind of a thing, this changes it. If we have time, we'll go back and use all the other ones. Now, you have a lot of leftovers here. Do you see all this? I know a lot of you guys like to use this for confetti. You've told me before, this is a good place to do different colors for confetti. If you take these pieces out, the rest of them are pretty much confetti size, shaker card size, whatever. I'm not shaker carding tonight. I'm folioing. All right, so that is one. And like I told you, it comes with different inserts. It is so cool. I'm very, very excited to have it. It's one of those things that I was like, I don't need that. Yes, I do. All right, let me score this again where we were. So it was three-fourths. Whoops, jumped the line. Three-fourths, one and a quarter, seven and a half, and then eight. And I did make this folio to accommodate that punch, okay? <laughs> I never read directions. I did make this so that I had this, this tab. So if you want your tab to be different after you see this folio made, you can edit it. Let's go ahead and score our other pieces that we need to score. So they're over here. Now again, all of these folio, this is a new folio. You haven't had this one before. All of these folio measurements are in the description for you. All right, this piece is eight and a half by eight and a half. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. I'm gonna put it into my scoreboard and I'm gonna score it at six and a quarter. Just one score here. Just six and a quarter. Put that one aside. Then you need two pieces that are 11 by six and you're gonna score this at one half. My fingers do not like one half. I usually flip it around, y'all know that. Then I'm gonna score it at one Then at five, and again at nine. We're gonna do that again. So I know I went quick, but don't stress. Do that again. <laughs> I need to trademark folio in. All right, and then half an inch, one inch, five, and nine. Now watch how fast this goes together. Y'all ready? Let's do some scoring, uh, folding and creasing. So this little guy here on the end, God, this is hard for y'all to see. If y'all want me to do a standalone video of this folio, I will. I know that doing it live is sometimes difficult because I get a little quick. But if you want it, just tell me, let me know. Um, okay, so there is my first little fold. Do you see that? Then I'm gonna fold in, okay? And I'm gonna fold it to that one inch score mark increase okay then you can open this up now let's fold these marks we want to fold everything in I'm folding everything in let's get this guy to fold I feel like he's very straight on camera it looks ride. like you're just running that down the side of the paper like you're really not on the paper at all I am at first it's a okay. thing I learned with this thick paper that if I want a nice even score if I do this sometimes the paper doesn't come all the way over on the, I don't know how to describe it but sometimes when you fold the paper some of it will kind of stay to one side and the other side to the other side and when I do that it gives me a better even fold when I kind of push it over I actually have a video talking about it for you guys if y'all want to see that I'm sure we can get a link all right let's do this one again so like I'm saying sometimes when I do this I have more score line over and less score line over so if I take this and I kind of push like down here, I had a less score line go over. If I just kind of push that edge then, I do this number and I just feel like I get a better result. You do you guys. If y'all think it doesn't work and it might not work for everybody, it's just a thing that I started doing. And I, I noticed you were doing it and I didn't really understand how or why. So that's why I asked. Sometimes I don't need it. Like just then, you know when you fold. Um, here I need it. I got a little more score line showing here than here. So I'm going to push here and get it even, and then I'll crease down. Like that. Look, somebody's done told on y'all. We've got 511 people watching, not but 162 likes. Come on now. Hit that like button. Timothy, where'd we put that video? I, I don't remember. Cool. I know I filmed it. It might've been in a Maker Monday situation. All right, so there's that. So again, everything folds in here, okay? All of that folds in. Then let's go ahead and get this folded. 
This one folded great. I don't need to do the push thing. I can just do this. Sometimes it doesn't. Y'all know, if you've ever done this, we make such a wide score mark with our tools yeah. that when we fold, sometimes the top will go further in, the bottom will go further out, and this is just kind of way to drive it. Another way, if you don't want to do that, you guys, put this on the edge of your table and fold it on the edge of your table. I just can't do that because it gets out of camera when I do that. Let me see how this, see that one did great. I don't need to push anything. I just learned it when um, we got some cardstock in that was super thick and I, I was getting one end to, see that one did great. Well, this one's a little heavy down here. Let's push this. But I had one that just wasn't quite laying like I wanted it to and I tried it and I really liked it. Liked how that did. There's that and there's this. Now let's do this side. Y'all, you see our built-in beautifulness from that punch? Hmm. So Built-in beautifulness. That's it. Built-in beautifulness. No, because you already got a birthday cake. Gosh, that's early, ain't it? I mean, we still got three weeks. Yeah, it's early. That's okay. Hey, start now. All right, Celebrate let's do some great. I wish somebody month. bought me a birthday cake already. I couldn't eat it, but I sure wish I had one. So now we're going to make a couple pockets. This one that we did that eight and a half by eight and a half that we scored at six and a quarter, we're going to make a pocket at this bottom part down here. So what I want you to do is glue the sides. Super easy. This is an open pocket. If you're taking our folio class, you'll know what to do here. This is an open pocket, meaning it's not gusseted, so you need to use your wet glue. Just a reminder, you guys. Okay, we have a good question from Christy C. Christy says, how can you make the punch side even on both sides? There's, I'm sure there's a way. This is just the first night I used it, so I just need to play with it. I, I'm sure you can start in the middle and just measure out. I just didn't. I will learn that for you guys. I probably should do a standalone demo of that too. Probably, because it's really, I need to learn it a little better too. Y'all need to know, we had 21 new products come in and I saw that these were one of them and I just grabbed it and said, let's go make something. And that's what we, we literally made this at five o'clock. Well, and we've been waiting for it to oh, be able to play wait. with it. Couldn't wait. Michelle, you do not have to buy all new punches, but this machine only uses that's its true. own punches. Yep. So, and I mean, if you want to buy all new punches, but the thing is, these are not, the thing is, these are not repeats of what you have. No. Which is really important to see. This is like an intricate lace. In the after show, I'll punch them, okay? This is like an intricate lace. This is like a um, um, heart belt almost, like a heart trim. Um, this is a floral kind of lacy thing. And this is a kind of a lattice. So they're not really ones you already have, and definitely this one. I don't have a punch that does this deep. Okay, so my question for is, you, Charlotte, is are you just rubbing it in that you made it for Glenn, or was you telling me that you made it for Glenn because you're going to bring me one? Because I just wanted some clarification on that. Oh, I love pineapple upside down cake. And it's a sugar-free one. I guess well, I should I'll be I'll take the sugar one. Have a great Bible study, Amy. Okay, so... So I've made little pockets. These little guys are just little pockets. I love to do that where we can. Okay, so we have little pockets there. Let's assemble it. Don't blink. That's how quick this goes. So as you guessed, this is your closure. Okay, but it's gonna. this is going to be a landscape folio. Yeah, I said that right. Oh, I wish everything went the same color. I didn't think about it. Okay, so this little guy we made that has the pocket on the side. See that? Air all of this folds in and you want it to like this. So my pocket is inside and this little strip here, I want to glue to this edge of my folio right here. I'll do a standalone guys. I'm going super fast. I'll do a standalone video if, cause you, I probably should slow down, but it's the live show and I don't want to do that too much. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to open this up. Now here's what I did. This strip, this piece is just the slightest bit smaller than this section in here so we could get a good close. So when I line this up, I put it closer to my bottom score line than the top. And I just don't overlap the score is all I'm doing. I'm just putting it right to that score line and just not overlapping. And I want to show you what we're doing. We're gluing this 
glue strip on the inside. Y'all see that? So we end up with a spine. We end up with an outside spine. And then we have this. So we have a pocket out here to the side. So that closes like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to turn this around for ease. So I'm just turning it upside down for just a second. I'm going to fold all of this in with my spine exposed and my glue strip exposed. Add my glue. Michelle, I think, I'm, well, I'm sure that if you want to use this machine, you have to buy this machine's punches. You do. I need to caution y'all about something really quick. Did you see I turned this around to make it easier? If you do that, remember which score line you got to be closer to. And I have to be closer to the one at the bottom here. It's now at the top. It was at the bottom. So just pay attention. Yes, when she does a standalone, we'll do make sure it's paper that you can see better. And I'll have color. I'll stripe the, you know, I'll color in the score lines and stuff. I apologize. Yeah, we'll fix it more. We just, I'll sh you know what, let We're me just We're really tell excited and we want y'all to see this. I'm not just excited about this punch. I'm so excited about the cardstock we're going to put on this. Yeah. Y'all are going to flip. And this color with that card, just wait. Because we've already cut the decorator cardstock. So y'all aren't just getting the, the putting together of the folio. You're going to get me actually putting paper on it too. Now what you've got is you've got this flap at the bottom, okay? And you've got this piece that is going to be what we glue to here, all right? So what's going to happen is I want my pocket, um, how do I do my pocket? I want my pocket at the top of this page so that when it opens, that pocket is at the bottom so that when it's closed, everything stays in it, okay? So what I'm going to do is add glue here. To the outside of that score line, the flap I made. Again, I'll do a standalone, I promise. Do y'all want this to be Saturday's video? Is that too soon? Yeah. Too soon to do this one standalone? Not too soon. We all be like, no. I Not limit, oh, who was that? It's fresh that on your mind. That question. Dana, um, I limit what fruit I eat. I try to stick to berries predominantly, but I do have an apple from time to time. And I try to stay away from grapes, but it's very hard because I love some grapes. We bought grapes the size of the planet Earth last night. <laughs> we got them at Sam's, not last night, the day we Tuesday. came home. Those are the biggest grapes the I've ever seen in my life. Kind of like those oversized softball apples? Yes. All right, see this? Isn't this cute? So here's how it works. It goes like this, and it goes like this and it goes like this, and it goes like this. You guys recognize what we mimic? We didn't mimic, we went, it's not as much. There's not as much in this one as yeah. the one you did. We kind of simplified it and just went like bloop, 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 bloop. Let's put some magnetos on here. Um, do I want to, do I want to wait a minute? Wait a minute. I'm gonna wait a minute. Let me show y'all my test one, and I want, in case you don't get to see this, okay? So this punch had these big old sections right here. So what I did was I put magnets on those sections. We're going to decorate this one too. Don't worry. This is just one. Look, we did this one in two colors. So <laughs> this is what we do. We get scrap paper and we make testers. And this was our tester to see if it was going to lay out that and it all worked. Okay. So that's how we did that. Okay. But I'm going to wait to put my, it heat my magnets on to see if I do something fancy. Um, who asked that question? Pam, the, my diabetes doctor said grapes were one of the highest sugar fruits. And so he said that would be one I should kind of semi-avoid. Actually, I'm going to try to save these. So if we're, we're going to film this Saturday, we can recut Yeah, this. save them. Oh, let me just show y'all. Let me just show y'all. Listen, everybody, brace yourself. Honestly, you think that tool was cool? You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm not kidding. Jen, I had four grapes last night. Sorry. The equivalent of eight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is Graphic 45. It's called Life is a Bowl of Cherries. If y'all have seen this teased online, you're going to be just like me when you get it in person. I saw it teased online. I bought it early. Okay. Let me say this to you. This is so much prettier in person. It's gorgeous. Shannon and I were like, what? So we have it in uh, eight by eight. Is that eight by eight? It is. Yeah, eight by eight and 12 by 12. I'm gonna flip through, y'all. This is not the pack I'm using. This pack is 
the store pack, but I want to show y'all because I we already cut our pieces, okay? Or Shannon's. We're going to do a quick, oh my goodness, smell. So good. It is. Mm. It's good. That is a good paper. You'll be That's a good paper You'll be right remiss there. if you don't smell it. Don't you wish it smelled like cherries, though? Okay. Scratch so, and sniff paper. Scratch and sniff. All right, I'm going to do this quick because i got to get to moving. Look at this. Just brace yourself, honestly. Look, it's white. Okay. All right, it's two sheets of each. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Sweet cherries. Look at this. Green is screaming Shannon, isn't it? It's beautiful. I told you I'm going quick because i got to get to gluing down, but you'll get to see it more when we glue it down. Look at that page. It's so pretty. So it's pretty. just gorgeous. It. We need to do a flip through short of this. It's too pretty not to. It's is there a song really, about cherries that we could put in it? It's really good, pa uh, good paper. This says so many words. I love you, cherry, much. You're the cherry on uh, you're the cherry on top. Life is sweet. I love you. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And then look at this. Oh, let's get busy. Let's get busy. I don't want to mess this up because it's not mine. Nope, it might be mine. Okay. Let's start to glue in. It's Same. so pretty, y'all. It really is even prettier in person. I know that's the hard. The camera does it. I, it just doesn't do it justice. I saw it on the Graphic 45 site, and I was like, it's cute. Do we want it? It's cute. And we even considered it for Brenda's project. I'm glad we didn't, because what we did get for Brenda's Craft Acropolis project is really, really pretty. But this, when it came in, we actually had a visitor in the store, and I had not seen this yet. And it was, um, they had already put it into the retail side. It was hanging over there, and I was like, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I have not seen this paper yet, and had to go pet it. Look at it. Oh, my word. Look at that. Did you? We didn't cut a strip for the top yet, did we? We were going to wait. We did not. Okay, I'll do that in a minute because I want to see which one fits. All right, so then we've got, let's go inside of here because this is so pretty. This is green. This is going to be a shannon -y page. And this product is already in the store, correct? It is. So yep. um, if you want it, you might want to go get it. But hurry back now, you hear? Okay, I'm looking. And I have 646 people watching according to my calculations. Calculations. <laughs> but I only have 349 <laughs> likes. Oh. And that is you got to like this way paper. off. I mean, that's 300 <gasps> off. Y'all got to like this paper. Okay. It look. does scream happy, Hi. Monica. There's a it hair band song from the 80s called Cherry Pie. Yeah. She's my cherry pie. Let's don't have a okay. copyright strike okay. by singing that song. You guys look, we had to do this. One of the pages had this strip, right? It has to go here, doesn't it? Look at it. Okay, before you go any further, okay. I've already been told you forgot your magnets. I know. I said, I'm waiting on my magnets. You're going to surgically insert yeah, them? I'm either going to do that or do something different. I want to wait because I, you guys wait to do magnets. Just wait. I want to do something different. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something different. Shannon and I were talking about this. I could have made that a little wider. I think it's all right. Here's what we were talking about. You know, we work so hard to hide our magnets. Y'all, I, I have a thing for designer purses. Like, not I can't afford real designer purses. But I have a thing for certain purses. Do you know they never cover the magnets? I always see the magnet. Shannon's like, every purse has a magnet showing. And we work so hard to cover them. I don't know why we're that. I don't think we have to do that. I think we can chill out. You know what I'm saying? We put a lot of pressure on ourselves to hide magnets when I can pay $150 for a purse. They don't hide a magnet. You see what I'm saying? I see. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. We'll have all these measures for you. I just want to get through so I can um, so I can get it all down so you can see it all. Oh, wait. Which one goes in here? The side It's this one. Up. This one. This one. Yeah. Don't y'all think this might be our best folio yet? I We did talk about doing a belly band. Shannon and I said you could, and we might, because there's so many cute strips on the paper pack. 
that we could do a belly band. We could even do ribbon. We could put a little ribbon, just tie it with ribbon. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so there's that. So now let's cover these guys. So I don't forget, let me show you how we're covering this. Love this. Oh, I don't think we cut this, did we? We didn't. I didn't think we did. Okay, look at this, you guys. From the paper, there's this strip that does this, that says cherry soda. Are you kidding me? Doesn't it have to live here? And I think I'm gonna do it on both sides, one here and one on the other side, but I need to mark where to cut it because I wasn't sure yet. And I'm gonna need to trim this piece. So I'm just laying here. It's gonna be the perfect piece for our little pocket. It's so cute. Trim right here. Now I did have to cut both pages to get this because it wasn't enough to get one piece to do it. Now it could have been if you were if you're in our um, folio class this morning, I was doing some fancy footwork and I, I got some stuff to work that even surprised me. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna cut that where I said, okay. Then. Hillary asked, was the graduation stamp set a club set? It was not. It is not a club set. This one's going to hold a lot of pictures. I don't know. That's going to be up to you. There's something we've discovered. Just because we make a spot for a picture doesn't always mean we use it. And then sometimes we make so many spots we don't even realize we have so many spots. One thing I mean by that is like you've got these pockets. You can totally do extra picture holders. That's what we've been doing in a lot of stuff. And um, you can even do an extra little booklet at the bottom of this guy. I like them giving me song lyrics. Look how yeah, perfect it's these are. Me sing. These are perfect. I didn't mean for this to happen. It just was in there. And I was like, will this fit? And it does. Look how cute that is. Okay, let's put some more paper in there. Let's put these guys in. So I'm going to put the, let's see, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put the reds there. You know, I'm extra, but I know that I would have outside. trimmed that different than you did. Let's but see. that's why I get to do me, right? Yep. I think I want to put the reds here, or do I want to put these here? One of each. I might just flip them all around. What do you think? Just um, flippy flip flip. It's making me crazy. Flippity flippity. It what is? I think we cut. I didn't cut enough. Yeah, you did. One. I've got more over here. I know, but I only cut four. I know. That's all we need. No, close it back over. You got oh, two on we the need other two side. Two extra ones. We can do it before we finish. We can do it later. I don't know which one I want to put down. I like both sides. I would mimic it. I know you would, and I wouldn't. I'm the girl who'd have one but over there and one over here. You do and one have over there. two other pieces like that. So if yeah, you for the do other side, both of those the same way, and then do the other two. Like you have that was a 12 inch piece, is what I'm saying. So you have two more pieces that are a little bit wider in your thing. That all you have to do is cut the three and three quarters. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with you. Do what you, you want. Do me. what you want to do. Do how you Ooh, want to do. Ooh, I think I can do that, Shannon. You do you, boo. We don't have to cut another piece. Look. I'm going to put the reds here. Eva, you really don't need me to make Are you going to cut me two more pieces? Where's the used pack? Hmm? Uh, Bobby, I believe there is a list of the club sets uh, in a blog post. I don't there? think it's just club. I think all of them are just in a post. They're actually on the website under... Um, blog I think it's on there and it's a list I think it is I don't remember it's um yeah the tag it does, does it distinguish what's a club and what's not mm -hmm. or do you know it does not all right I, I did it Shannon's mm. way but I think I want to do this right here Let's and see. if I do I have to trim that down Here's just there. a skosh There's that for one. the other side okay and can you trim me an eighth of an inch off of both of those? I think that's all I need off of it. Oh, we could use the green. There's. Those. I'm going to close this up because I want to use these. Oh, and I hate you missed us too. That would have been cool. Anna said she's sorry she missed us the other day when Cindy uh, tried to call from the Columbus show. Oh, oh is that who we missed? Aww. Right. I had so much fun. How many people do we get to FaceTime? That's my favorite thing. It was fun. I love doing that. All right, now what do you want me to cut one off? An eighth of an inch off of An eighth of an inch two? off of those, yep. 
This is my favorite piece in the whole pack. It was almost the front cover, and then I changed my mind. I love this so much. I love this so much. You're okay if you run a little over. I'm already I mean, You're already a little, a little over. over, but be all right. Because you're loving it too. Look how cute I mean, that is. it's beautiful. All right, Shannon's cutting me some pieces right there. I'm going to, oh, no, this is for in here. Okay. I thought you were cutting me backsides. No. No, what do you, um. I think you can take those. Which ones do you want? These little pieces right here. I don't, I'm not, two that match because I've made everything match. Um, Rachel, that? I, I got to be honest and say I'm not sure what Shannon's folio is. They asked what's the difference between this folio and folio and Shannon's folio. The size for one thing. And Shannon's held more, Shannon had more little, um, little sections in hers. And I think her pocket was here. This one had two made on pockets that held, held little thingies. three by five, um, thingies. Hers is a little, there's a, hers was a little more detailed. Yeah. This one's just kind of one we threw together. Uh, Deb, some of the products that we're going to show tonight, we did get to see in person at Creativation, but most of the stuff that we saw at Creativation, we have on order and it hasn't come in yet. All right, y'all know my rule. My least favorite goes on the back. Shannon loves this page. She says it feels very Hawaii. It really kind of does, actually. Oh, I love this page. I may not be able to put that on the back. We've already cut it, right? I just got to do that. I'm sorry. It's got to go there. I love this so much. <sighs> love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's so pretty. I had to do it. Uh, I don't blame you. All that blue and red and all the... These must be cherry blossoms and I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't realize it. All right. Do you see how fast this goes when you have the pieces pre-cut? And see, I did it with that <gasps> little border at the bottom. No, do it with a little border at the bottom. Do it with a little border at the bottom. Which way, where do you want the border? On the bottom. You want it on the outside or the inside? Right there, just like that. On the inside? Oh, it's just on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, no, that was on the bottom, never mind. Oh, I'm oh, not going to be able to oh, do that. No, you're not. I don't care. Do what you want to do. It's yours. Do the what new, I want to do? Do what you want to do. It's yours. Pam, the new border punch are is you from sure? We yep. Are. Flip it. Flip it. It's a pretty pack. I don't care. She said I can I do what I one. wanted to do, so glue's going on green. I already pulled one. <laughs> do you, you know yours? how many different punches are available for the machine? Four in one. Four in the one that comes, comes with, it. with it. Now, there could be one we don't have yet, but I think that's all of them. I think they finally came in. Oh, this would be so cute for recipes, especially if you just did a bunch of pie recipes in it. If it was just, if it just held your yeah. fruit pies. Or just do it as a cherry. Um, All cherry recipes. Everything's cherry. Oh, cute. Like a cherry soda, cherry pie, cherry ice cream. Think about cherry all the little tarts. things. Cherry tarts. Oh, goodness. Look at this, you guys. And the reason, oh, I was waiting on the magnet to catch. I don't have one on it yet. The reason I wanted to do this color paper for my base is because I really wanted this to show, but I had another plan for having it show even more. And that is, what's the darkest page in there? That red, maybe? I was thinking if I needed to, I could cut a piece to put behind here. Probably, I'd probably cut a solid piece. I feel like that doesn't show as well, but I could cut a piece to put behind here and then trim it around. But I really don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not. I really like it like this, but I'm not sure because I like it like that too. And you have the right idea what I was going to do. Did that one work? It still can work. Yeah, it can. Because I can trim that red off and just have the green. <coughs> we love all these strips, right? Those are the only uh, Jolene, we have not been to the Cherry Festival I have two, that one. before. Oh, what about that? Life is sweet, life is sweet, life is sweet. Oh, or you could. It's almost just right. I love you, Cherry Much. 
and center it on something else. I really like this one. Yeah. It's I think it kind of picks up everything on the page. Let me just see what I can get on here. Do you see what we're trying to do? We're trying to use this strip. Actually, let's cut the decorator strip off and then I'll be able to tell. Let's cut that off. What I'm gonna do, just to give you something to look forward to Saturday, I'm gonna save the closure for Saturday. So I'm gonna do. Okay. Then you'll have something to look forward to in the video because if not, you will have seen it all before. Look at that. I even like it kind of hanging over a little bit. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. I mean, it's yours. I like that. Should it go all the way across? I should sink it in. I don't know. I like it all the way across. I think I'd go all the way across mm -hmm. on the front. Me too. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a little nip. I like it on that one. A little nip, and I'm going to trim it down. See? Eight inches. Oh. <laughs> You're right, to eight inches. For once. What in the Brenda Berry? That's what I did. <laughs> is it eight or is it eight and a half? Eight and a half oh, it's by eight. eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have messed eight up. And a half. There you go. See, don't trust me. So I may I don't know how I'll close this one up, but I will. And then when I film the other one, I'll do a different closure so that because oh, I know ahead of time. Well, Shannon applied for a job. Somebody said, how'd you come into our life? She applied for a position we had available. I did, I did. And she got hired for that position that she no longer does. I did, I did. <laughs> she got hired for it and does something else. Look at that, you guys. Come on. Oh, my gosh. It's precious. So cute. I really want to cut. I don't know that it would work. But I really want to cut, like, another, another piece. I'm just going to do it real fast. Y'all said I could be a little late. Just give me a second. I thought you were saving it. What red? Uh, no, I, this is something different. I want to okay. try this. A lot of people are saying you could weave some twine through the... Oh, so pretty. So much you could do. So many different ways you could make it happen. Here's what I'm going to do. Don't know if it's going to work. I just want to see. All right. I want to see this, too, real quick. So that's there. No, it comes back. It just didn't like it as much. So here's what I'm going to do. Another question is, will this hold 12 by 12? Of course it will. Ooh, this is a generous piece. There we go. Tamitha said you have three minutes. <laughs> Till the live show says we start at 645, the next show. Yep. This is too much, but I want to have what I need to line it up. Gosh, I just love this tool. It's just so easy to get that done. Oh, that Dana, that's like a cool melon. idea. Dana said See, you could get two it. cherry buttons and use them as a closure. I looked at Shannon because we found a new button uh, distributor we're excited about. Okay, how much space do I have to work with in here? See what I'm working with. Three. I'm gonna cut that to about. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. It's just paper. I know, but I'm still scared. Let me just see what I can do here. Use my pencil. Use my trusty pencil. I've done all that work. I want to get it right. You know. You know what I mean, Vern? Y'all are getting to see her her brain at work. You know what I mean, Vern? This is reverse engineering. <laughs> because by the time you get it, I'll have it all measured out and right for you. But I have to reverse engineer it, which is how I do most of the tutorials anyway. We do this a lot of times. We reverse engineer a good bit. All right, so here's my thought. Let's see if it's cute or not, because it might not be cute. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it's real cute. Yeah. It's real cute. Now, I could real hide cute. my magnets in here and then hide them under something there, which it could be done. Should I do that? I'll do it. I'll do it, and then they'll be hidden. I said I wasn't going to show you all the closure. I'll do a different closure. This is a new tool. It is on our site. 
and it is awesome. I am using um, two sets of magnets um, because I have I'm using the little ones and I'm putting them on either end to give a little stability to the to the. Uh, Are you gonna do them in the lacy stuff or doing them in the solid? This in the time? lacy, I think. I still think it should be in the lacy, just because of where it needs to close. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think we'll be all right. Oh, I think we'll be all right. Now, listen, if you don't have this alignment tool, don't stress. Just use your punches. You can do the same thing. It just won't be, it might not be the same. It could be very similar. Thank you guys for watching tonight. We got 773 people watching Yay! right now. That's incredible. And we appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're seeing. We do appreciate that very much. My mate does an incredible job. You're so sweet. I love this. This right here, love it. Love it. Okay, so I've got those in. Can you see where they're at? They're in the little um, widest part of the border area. And remember how I've told y'all this before. Don't put your magnets down until you're squared up. See how I'm using the table to help me square up? I want to do that again. So square it up before you put your magnets down. That just makes sure it closes square. Look how cool, look how cool, look how cool. All right, let's glue our other piece on. And it'll go over those magnets, but it'll be fine. Okay, they'll still go down there. And let's see, which end was which? I want the scallop to sort of double. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to do is have that sort of Yes. Doubled up. So, going to make a mark. I know, it's eight and a half, but I just want to be sure, sure, sure. I've done all that work. I want to be sure. How was Bean when y'all got home? <laughs> Spoiled Bean rotten. was rent. That's the only way I can describe it. Josh and Taylor took excellent care of Bean, and she had a blast playing with Josh and Taylor's dogs. And, uh, she Josh and Taylor as well. Josh and Taylor as well. <laughs> really, she had such a good time. She said so today too. <laughs> she told you. Yeah. Is that what she was saying to you? Yeah. That's I what thought she was so. Saying. She was saying it. She's so big, you guys. When we came home, she was even bigger. I'm like, oh my goodness, she just gets bigger and bigger. Okay, what I gotta She's do growing. is be a little careful. Think what I'm gonna do to keep from drying. Shannon, I hate to ask. Can you get my sticky tape from the table? We used it today in the polio class. Nah. I'm could you good. could you glue on the well, I know it's not white, but on the put your glue down and then stick it in place that way? Not put the glue on the red, put it on the white so you could make it Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm just gonna do this so I don't have to put glue here and let it dry while I'm putting dots of glue over there. Remember, we're reverse engineering, so there's probably better ways to do things, but at this point, I'm getting the job done. All right, all right, all right. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and peel this back. A little sticky tape here. Yay, Valencia caught us live! All right, then glue. In my biggest spots, everywhere I can, but I can do it kind of quick. I'm seeing spots at this point. Seeing stars. Here we go. All right, make sure I got it lined up right. Y'all hold your mouth right. Maybe force be with you. Everybody hold your mouth right. If you're not holding your mouth right, you will mess this whole process up. Which way is right, left? Stick your tongue out. I'm not on camera, so I can do that. <laughs> Were you doing it? So if it's wrong, it's not my fault. I got yes, ma'am, I'm tight here. too. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. That's it's a fire. little wet, so I'm trying not to pull on it too much till it dries. I got to trim some off right here because I got a little wide. Mary wants to know where your wedding rings are. 
you know, guys, something's wrong with my knuckle. Every morning I try to put them on. Some mornings I can put them on and some mornings I can't. And I just, the other day I put it on. It was a Saturday. I was at the house. I put it on. And before the day was over with, I was like, I got to get this off. I do not know what's happened to my knuckle. It doesn't hurt. It's just gotten so big. Not, I mean, this ring fits it just fine. Oh, well, it's too big. See that? It'll want, I'd, I'd change hands, but it'll fall off. And so Shannon says I'm holding out for that 25th anniversary upgrade. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's coming up. You never know. But I cannot. So I'm going to take it and get it. I'm going to take it to Moreland's and get it sized. We just haven't had time. We've been running around. And it, it just, I don't understand. It's funny because my mother-in-law tells me that it happened to her too. Her knuckles just one day and I just couldn't do it. All right. Look how beautiful. Oh, it goes this way. Look how beautiful. And that's with no embellishments. Nothing. That's with not adding anything. Look, and there's so much more we could do, but how cute is this? Oh, I just love this so, so, so much. I think too, do you remember the one we did where we put that um, magnet across here? We That girl did it on YouTube and we did it too. That would be cute here because it would hold this apart. Uh -huh. Or even doing a little clasp here would be you really cute. You could do cute. a little waterfall thing on the bottom under that to add up a little bit, too, to hold those up. Love this. There's a great budget ones. way to make um, 50 Mother's Day cards. Mystery cards. Get some card stock. Cut it. Just use the whole pack. Cut it down and make mystery cards. Is it mine or yours? Mine. Okay. All right, guys. There it is. I'm going to stop there. I will film this for Saturday so you guys can get all the dimensions and I can give you all the tips and tricks. And I will do a different closure. I don't know what. Probably, I don't know. Maybe a belly band. I think this would be beautiful with a belly band. Somebody mentioned it. Yeah. Doing it with this and making the border punch as the belly band. I think that would be stunning. Oh, wow. Have to do that it. would be. May have to do it. Oh, and in the after show, we'll punch those, others, uh, those other borders. But we have a lot to get through in the after show. So we need to head over there. And I'm a little bit late, but not too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love how this turned out. So cute. And there's still lots of decorating I can do. Yeah, Lorna, uh, Erin followed us in to Creativation. Well, she was going in behind us. And she was behind us. She didn't so know us. She started filming, and she actually got us walking in for the first time. It was pretty cool. All right, let's head to the after show where we can talk about whatever we want to. The uh, link is already posted there. Part of that will be the Creativation. Part of that's the new products we got in. Who knows what else we'll talk about. All right. So we'll see you guys over there in just a few minutes.